So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about why you should take physics, both in high school and university, and, and the kind of things you can do with physics. So my name is Sarah Johnson, and I am a senior lecturer in physics at Simon Fraser University. And what we're doing here today is we are doing what's called the Girls Exploring Physics Workshop. And this is a workshop for girls in grades nine and 10. Our main goal here is to keep girls um, excited about physics. A lot of girls take physics in high school, but not many girls choose to major in physics at the university level. And that's what we're trying to counteract. This is an example of a sodium arc light in a parking lot well on a street. And you can see it's very yellow and everything doesn't look very nice. This is what it would look like if it were replaced by an LED. If we could switch over completely to LED sources, we could decrease the amount of electricity that's used for lighting by half. I'm Pat Mooney and I'm a professor in the physics department at Simon Fraser University. We think it's kind of unfortunate that half the human population might be lost, half the brain power that could do physics and contribute to activities in physics and the things that physics brings to society might be lost simply because they don't know what it is or they don't think it might be very interesting. I like learning about force and how I push her with that much force <laughs> yeah. and she hardly moves but if I go like she moves much more so it's interesting to learn how different amounts of force will impact things differently. In all of these workshops, they, they learn something, but they also get to, to build things with their hands. Because a lot of physics and science in general, but physics in particular, is experimentally based, where you actually work with your hands. You don't just sit in a dark room and solve math problems. Now, ready? OK, OK, wait for me, wait for me. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs>